Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at exporting a LUT from DaVinci Resolve and using it inside of Premiere Pro. This is something that I like to do lots of times when I have like an interview or something that I really want to make look prettier, and I don't really want to use the tools inside of Premiere, but I don't really have the time or budget or whatever it may be to, you know, export an XML, bring it into DaVinci Resolve, do all that workflow, where I just really want to make stuff pretty and save some time. So here's a simple way of doing that, exporting a LUT from DaVinci Resolve and then using it inside of Premiere Pro. So in here you see I've got this lovely shot of my friend Jacqueline here shooting a little interview. Great, it looks fine. Uh, here's the grade beforehand, so just, you know, making it look nice. From here, what we can do, it's super easy. From our timeline window, you just right click on whichever clip you want to export your LUT from. And then right here next to your mouse is Generate 3D LUT. Here, it'll give you an option of a place to save it. So here, I've just got my project folder opened up. I'll call this Jacqueline Interview LUT 01 and save that. And now I'll just minimize that and go into Premiere. See, I've got that uh, pretty much same clip here. What I do is select the clip, go to Effects, type in Loom for Lumetry, and drag that onto the clip. And what the Lumetry is, it's um, Premiere's nice color engine. So you can add LUTs here. They've got a nice, a lot of interesting presets, uh, but I mainly just use it as a way to ingest LUTs from DaVinci Resolve because as I'm sure all my viewers know, DaVinci Resolve is incredible. So just drop that on there. It immediately opens up a place to select a LUT from. And I see I've got my project folder here. Just select the LUT, hit open, and boom, there it is. Just that easily. We've got our LUT from DaVinci Resolve and are now using it inside of Premiere Pro. And it wasn't any trouble at all. This is a, like I said, super great way to save time or, you know, just build up a library of LUTs that you like. Like I know I use this sort of standard uh, interview lighting when I'm in, you know, a tiny room and don't have much time. I know my white balance. I know my exposure and I can just drop this on any other interview I have, you know, from now on that I just need to make this super quick um, little LUT. So, once again, I've been Theo with Meissner Media. If you like this tutorial, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't like it, be sure to give it a dislike. No matter what, leave a comment below telling me what you think. If one of your friends could benefit from this uh, little tip, which I'm sure they could, be sure to share it on your various social platforms. While you're there, be sure to check out Meissner Media's various social platforms. we got Facebook, Twitter, and a website. Links for those are all down in the description. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meissner Media YouTube channel. We're trying to upload a new tutorial every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We don't just do Premiere and Resolve stuff. If you want, I've got, you know, anything you want in here. We can make it happen. I'm not great at Maya. That's because I got, you know, free student version. Anything else. I can do fire simulation inside Maya. If you want to see fire simulation inside Maya, that's why I got Maya. I had one job and I, I was a student so I could get Maya for free. <laughs> Legally for free. Anyway, if you want to see, you know, anything specific, the channel's still pretty small, so it's pretty easy to get to me. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye!